But in the end, the most important thing is what's the purpose of your life? Why are you here? We gotta look at what makes you really do what you do. Everything on earth has a purpose and you do too. That purpose provides an inner drive that once you tap into it can give your life immense fulfillment. It'll also give you certainty. Because you know right now we're in a world that's changing so rapidly that virtually every time you turn around you hear about something else that's changing. And I hear so much excitement and I also hear so much fear about the pace of change. I mean, we've all talked about changes happening so rapidly now and paradigm shifts and all that stuff has become so overused at this point that we've become numb to it. But it's true, never in the history of the world have things changed so rapidly. So you need to find something that's eternal inside of yourself. That no matter what changes on the surface, this part of you does not change. It's the part you come back to, the part that guides you, the part that really makes you fulfilled. You know, each moment we've got to be able to find some sense of meaning for our lives, something that is significant, something that is useful. And we all know this is not a new conversation. See, all of us in life have to have a reason to be here. If all you're doing out there is going out and trying to achieve goals, and then you achieve them, then I'm sure you've run into that trip up wire that says, okay, I've achieved the goal, and now what? Right? You achieve the goal and your brain says, is this all there is? See, the purpose of a goal, as I've shared with you so many times, is not to achieve the goal. The purpose of the goal is what it makes of us as people, who we become. Ultimately, though, we have to have a sense that who we even have become has some kind of meaning. Without that, there's not a reason to live. There's not a reason to get up. There's not a reason to go out there and make it happen. What's really controlling this man's life is fear. When people say they're cynical or they're pessimistic, what they're really screaming out to you is, I'm scared out of my mind. <laughs> I'm afraid to dream again. I'm afraid to think about what's possible. I'm afraid to really put myself on the line and say, I'm gonna go for something. I'm gonna stand for something. I'm gonna put myself in line in a relationship or my business or my vision to make a difference in the world. Because you know what? Maybe at one time this person did that. Maybe they tried it several times and it didn't work and they got pain and pain and pain. Pretty soon they didn't want the pain so they stopped dreaming. They stopped envisioning. They stopped coming up with meaning. Instead, they try to keep themselves away from the pain by saying, well, there's no meaning in it all anyway. But unfortunately, that gives you the ultimate pain because it gives you a life without meaning. And no one can live a life that's fulfilled without a sense of meaning. See, we've been put here for a reason. The question is why? And the answer, I think, is different for every one of us. It's different for me than it is for you, and yet it's the same. Every one of us has been put here. Every one of us is unique and different and special. And I believe our Creator, if I may use the word God, if I may, God has put you here for a reason. The question is, what is it? God does not create things without a purpose. Everything on earth serves a purpose. Why are you here? What are you here to do? What are you here to become, to create, and to give? These are some of the most significant questions that you can answer in your life. And even when you answer them, I'm sure that as your life expands, you'll come up with better answers as you get more experience and you get closer in touch with your own innermost being and maybe closer in touch with your creator as well. I'm really going to the essence of giving your life what you deserve, which is knowing that there are no mistakes, knowing that every little thing you do has a consequence. It can be a positive consequence if you choose it. The most powerful thing that has consequence in your life, though, is the thing we talk about so often, but I gotta say it again, and that is what's really ultimately shaping our lives are our decisions.